Hi, this is Jason Molesky. In this example, we'll review the rules for adding random variables. Earlier, we defined x to be the number of passengers that Pete has and y to be the number of passengers that Aaron has on a randomly selected date. Now recall that the mean for x was 3.75 with a standard deviation of 1.0897 and the mean of y was 3.10 with a standard deviation of 0 0.943. We want to calculate the mean and standard deviation of the total amount that Pete and Aaron collect on a randomly chosen day. Also recall, Pete charges $150 per passenger and Aaron charges $175 per passenger. Let's let W, a new random variable, equal the total amount collected. Then W would equal 150 times X, $150 for each passenger that uh, Pete collects, and uh, plus 175y, or $175 per each passenger that Aaron collects. If we let c equal 150x and g equal 175y, then we can write w as the sum of two random variables, that is, w equals c plus g. Now we can use what we learned earlier about the effect of multiplying by a constant to find the mean and standard deviation of c and g. More specifically, for c, since that equals 150x, the mean of C will simply be 150 times the mean of X, or in this case, $562.50. Likewise, the standard deviation of C can be found by multiplying the standard deviation for X times 150. So we get a standard deviation of $163.46. Following the same idea for G, we can find the mean of $542.50 and a standard deviation of $165.03. Now, we know that the mean of the sum of two random variables equals the sum of their means. That is, the mean of w will simply be the mean of c plus the mean of g. Or in this case, $562.50 plus $542.50 or $1,105. Now, on average, Pete and Aaron would expect to collect a total of about $1,105 per day. Now, because the number of passengers x and y are independent random variables, so are the amounts of money collected C and G. Therefore, the variance of W will be the sum of the variances of C and G. So the variance of W will be the variance of C, $163.46 squared, plus 165.03 squared, that was the variance of G, for 53,954.07. Now that's the variance. We're interested in the standard deviation of W, so to get that, we'll take the square root of the variance. So in this case, the standard deviation of W is 232.28. Now recall, one important fact to remember when we're trying to find standard deviation is we always add and we always add the variances. Notice we didn't add the standard deviations here. You'll want to remember that if we see another one of these problems in the future. For some additional practice with rules for adding random variables, try exercise 51. 